Alright, welcome back. So I assume you got your little character and also the background here. Uh, if not, please go back to the previous video and do that. So right now we're going to make this a little bit more interesting. We're going to make our character move. So we're going to do that by selecting our character uh, and then go to the property panel. Oh, but before we proceed, let's change the name. Okay, let's change the this to player. So we are a little bit more organized. So the object type is player, a little far. Um, and then we're going to go down to behavior. Remember behavior is what make the character do things. So we can click add behavior, add new behavior. And then we're going to scroll down to movement. And you see there's a lot of things here. This control movement of any object. You know, it doesn't have to be your main character. It could be like a bullet, a car, anything. Um, so why don't we use the eight direction behavior and see what happened. So click add. And now we have the eight direction behavior. And let's click play to preview the game. Um, well, X out your old one if you haven't and relaunch it. All right, so this is the new one. Okay, so now use the arrow keys up, down, left, right. Hey, look at this, our character's moving. It's a lot better than before where it doesn't do anything. So this is useful for, for like a RPG game or something like that, or a top-down game. Uh, but we're making a platformer, so this is not really useful to us. So let's close this, and then go back to behavior, and we're going to delete this 8 direction behavior. Right click, delete, um, add new behavior, and we're going to choose, what are we going to choose? platform right here oh yeah movement platform because this is a platform game right okay and then we're gonna click play and see what happened oh look well he fall and then he fell uh, out of the level well we have no platform for him to stand on so let's make some platforms then um so we're dragging back here so how do we make a platform? Well, a platform is just an object, right? So just like the main character, right click, insert new object. And then we're going to go down to Sprite and then just click here. And then it will open up the animation editor again. Um, so why don't we just fill this up with like a color like that. Okay exit and now we have a little box here uh, let's scale it to make it a little bit more like a platform more like such click play and see what happened all right well he fell right through the platform why is that well because this is just an image we actually need to make this a solid object so that he can stand on it so we're going to click on the little platform uh, let's change this name to platform and then we are going to click add behavior and we're going to make it a solid object solid like this all right and then we're going to click play and there you go we got our little platform right here um and i got him move using the arrow keys so you see how there is still some collision issue here, like the guy is like halfway through inside this box right here, this platform right here. Um, so that's, why is that? So let's click on a little guy, go back to our animation, animation, edit. So that's something called a collision polygon that it's basically detecting where like which part of the image is the character so as you can see here it's um yeah it's not really accurate we're not getting the feet so that's why like he sink halfway into the platform so we need to like position this back but it's annoying to work with a polygon like that so why don't we change this into a box so right click set to bounding box and then we got this box right here uh and then what we want to do is this is too big right so let's try 
move this a little bit closer so it's more shaped like our character. All right, so now we did this one, and let's go to the second one. Uh, but I don't want to do this every single image right here. What we can do is we can right click, we can say apply to all animation, and then it will apply to every single one of these. All right, let's try this again. All right, I think we're good here. So we got a really basic platform jumper here. We can also drag more platform in here to make this a little bit more interesting. Let's try this. Uh, okay, well, apparently I don't jump. I can't jump high enough to make that. So what we could do is we can click on the character and we can change on the jump strength. Let's just make this like 800 and that will make our character stronger. All right, made it. Okay, so why don't you guys work on that? Um, and I'll see you on the next video to further develop our game. I'll see you soon.